Hello everyone, it is Alex. Thank you guys so much for tuning in today. So today I am doing my shop, my stash. I am kind of stuck in a corner, as you guys can see. I moved my stuff up on my vanity, so now I'm gonna be filming this on my vanity. I rearranged my whole entire vanity. It is pouring rain, shocker you guys. Every time I film these, it is pouring rain. And I do have a child playing an iPad in the background. So hopefully I will not get slammed for copyright. I'm trying to shut the door so she will not bring her iPad in here. But I'm doing the best I can with lighting. I have two lights on here. So if it looks a little wonky, it's because I'm doing the best that I can. So today we're gonna go through this whole entire thing to show you guys what I went and what I used this month. If you're looking at this side over here, this is my everyday. Uh, stuff plus panning so this is not gonna be touched this is my shop my stash section which I shared with you guys back in last year about a year ago when I bought both of these so if you're interested stay tuned so that's what we're gonna go through we're gonna go through all this and then pick out some new items alrighty you guys you know the drill subscribe like comment you know the drill let's get into it <laughs> So let's start out with the stuff up here because this is what I do. So this is the first thing I use this. Absolutely love it, you guys. I love this kind of stuff. So yeah, I, I wanna get a different color. I know Paulina just showed a new shade that she found in her collection. I think it's like a bronzy red. Really want it because I love this formula. This is gorgeous. This, uh, the Touch and Soul in Adelio. This is gorgeous. Really like this, you guys. And it doesn't have to be as strong as you see it in the pot. I just blended this out with a brush and it came out really nice as a base. And it really does stay. If you have very oily lids or in a humid climate, these are awesome. I finally got a chance to use this little Twinkle uh, 01 uh, glitter. Very, very pretty. I actually use this for date night as a topper very pretty and it stayed all the whole time so this is what i use for my date night this is the josie marion coconut watercolor in playa del pink i don't know why she discontinued these i wish she would have it's separated out but when you shake it it gets back together i wish she would have just changed the applicator and then kept selling these because these are amazing and you don't need a lot like i barely used Oh my goodness, like two, three dots per eye, and that's enough. Enough to cover my whole entire lid and make it opaque. This is gonna last me a lifetime, you guys. So yeah, I'm very happy I got a chance to use this. I have not got a chance to use this one, so I'm gonna keep this in here. And then all the rest of this stuff up here stays up here. So now we're gonna go into the drawer. All right, first off is this one by Lottie London, Golden Hour. Very, very pretty, very opaque, so I did have to be careful, but it is stunning. This one in Bubbly by Bodyography. Amazing, you guys. I love these. You guys know I love these, so yeah. The other one I kept in here was Prism, my one of my favorite top shades. And I shared it with you guys on a therapy session, so if you guys want to check that out, I will link it so you guys can see this being used firsthand. These, oh my goodness, if you own these, pull these out. These are the Touch and Soul Metalist uh, Sparkling Foiled Pigment. And this one's in Cream Peach, my favorite shade out of all the ones that I own stunning alone or as a topper my goodness gracious these are amazing wild at heart this is the tart one uh chrome pigment yeah i really like this one i ended up using this one on top of purple shadows very very pretty really like these and froze i meant to use and i never got a chance to use it so this is gonna stay on to the other side this is the butter london glaze and eye in moonstone i ended up using this as part of my mother's day look with the natasha denona zendo palette still going strong you guys and really really enjoy it all three of these I, I did not get a chance to use so i'm going to keep these in here and i do not mind because i think all these will show some sort of usage in the next month since it is now getting warmer even though this weekend is in the 50s and raining moving on to the blushes this is the l'oreal life's a peach really really pretty and very pigmented surprising for a blush from the drugstore and this is my i think this is my only l'oreal blush i own I really like it. MAC uh, Honey Jasmine. Oh, this is so pretty. I ended up picking this up at a CCO a while ago. I didn't think I would like it as much. And you know what? I really, really like this one. Very, very pretty on the cheeks. This Laura uh, Mercier in Rosé. You can see, look at that. How much I've used this. This I use for date night. Guys, I love how this looks on the cheeks. It gives you that nice glisten on the cheeks. 
dewy, beautiful look, but not wet and oily. I love it. You could see how much I've used of this. It doesn't show that much here this way, but if you look at the compact, it's so pretty. And all of that glitter stuff, like that glisten, just dusts right off. Get a gorgeous shade. I really like this one. Last but not least is Luminoso. Eventually I will pan this. It's just, um, gotta find the time and the willpower to do it because sometimes I just wanna mix my bushes around, so. I will eventually pan this. I'm ho I was hoping this year, but I don't know if it's going to happen. But yeah, I'm still rotating and it still works fine. The original OG kind, you guys. I mean, I don't even want to tell you how old this is. For highlighters, this is Jouer Skinny Dip, I believe. I wasn't able to use this as much because I did not get as tan as I was expecting to. But it is a pretty shade. I'll probably pull it back out again throughout the summer. This one, Pixie by Petra in Subtle Sunrise. This one I use for my date night as well. And you guys... I really like them. I really, really do. Reminds me how much good stuff I have in my collection. Fenty in Hustle, baby. Very pretty. I always forget how pretty this one is. The only Fenty highlighter I own, and I really like it, and it is a mini with a mirror. And the last one, this is Jouer Citrine, I believe. Yes, my very first Jouer highlighter I've ever owned, and it's still one of my favorites use the crap out of this as you guys can see i really really like jua powders they are great all right so let's move on to the lip products i use this month here's the first one this is fiona styles in R uh, rialto i believe let me see if i can swatch these with all these lights in front of here because i can't see that shade right there let me see if i can swatch like this it's very pretty very bright and i love this formula unfortunately it is no longer available, so you can't get it, but it's gorgeous. You can probably find something similar to it. The next one I used was this Anastasia in Permission, per something or other. Let me see if I can figure it out. Uh, persimmon Liquid Lip. This is another RD kind of lip. I'm trying not to drip it. You guys can see right there. Very pretty. I think I used this one in my ranking video really like this one up next is my Neutrogena color stick in classic nude it is definitely a classic nude oh this sucks you guys I hate the rain that's what this one looks like right there I really like this formula up next is Maybelline naked coral one of my favorites so that one looks like right there it's a really pretty pinky corally shade for the spring summertime one of my favorite Maybelline one, and this one is Spice for Life. Gosh, everyone complimented me on my eye look and my makeup the, the day I wore this with that yellow shirt. Yeah, this is gorgeous. Definitely pulling that one out in the summer again. We have MAC Honey Love, one of the classic nudie ones. Very pretty. Very soon I won't be able to wear this too much because it, it pulls more white base for me in the summer. This is the Fiona Style Blix. Very pretty formula. Again, you can't get this, but I really liked it. I mixed this one with the Anastasia Liquid Lip. Came out very pretty. And they are magnetic. We have Anita by NARS. A nice classic pinky mauve. Love this formula. Can't get enough of these NARS ones. Very beautiful. And last but not least is Kat Von D Ophelia wore this on date night really really like it i still love these kat von d liquid lips they are still some of my top favorite look how pretty that is i can't get enough of these so yeah so happy i pulled this out as well all right so let's move on to palettes see how i could do this the first one i used uh this month was this one by give me glow this is the pastel dream uh, palette i use this in conjunction with a lot of other palettes like these as transition shades these as inner corner highlights or all over the lid this is very pretty and i have seen some looks on deeper skin tone that have inspired me to use more pastels in the summer as i get deeper so we're going to see what i'm going to work with i think the, these two definitely i can work with in the summer 
possibly these and down here i think these two are way going to be way too cool to them for me in the summer but i feel like this bottom half i could probably make it work so yeah i did a full review everything will be linked up in the ad cards if you're interested to see more on this palette the next palette i used was the naked urban decay wild west one. Oh my gosh you guys i love this palette i really really do you can see that i've used a lot of it <sighs> the only this one and this one are the only two shades i really didn't dabble into but the rest i beat up that's my favorite shade that one's my favorite that one's my favorite i just really like this palette this has reminded me how much i really like neutrals as well not just color but neutrals why i love everything basically and it's gotten me to get it's gotten me to go back to my natural like these kind of colors like everyday shades i guess you want to call i don't know what you want to call it more acceptable shades, more not wearable, but you know what I mean. So I'm going to pull out more of my neutral palettes to work with my colorful palettes. So this has gotten me to pull out more of my everyday palettes with my colorful palettes going forward and not just do colorful palettes. Natasha Denona Zendo. You guys can see how much I've used this palette. My goodness gracious. Very, very pretty palette. I am somebody who likes it. I know not many did like it, um, but... I did a full review explanation as to why I felt why she did what she did. Um, so you guys can check that out if you want to. I think it's great. Still great quality, but I know some people would not like it. I understand. Everyone, you know, spend your money how you want, but I really liked it. All right, let's see the pigments that I got. I'm sorry about the lighting again, you guys. I'm working with what I have, and I just shut all the doors because I can guarantee you I could probably win the contest for having the loudest children ever. They don't know how to play quietly. They, they don't understand what that means. So this is the first thing I want to pull out. This is the Flower Beauty watercolor thing that they have. I did a whole review on these. Um, I'm going to pull out Sunset Wash. And this is what it looks like. I think it'll look nice for this time of year. And that's what I was waiting for. Let's see how these work when I am in humid climates now. So I'm going to pull this one out because I think this one will work the best for this time of year. We'll see. We shall see. Up next is this Lise Watier. What is this thing? It is a Stardust in, oh, I guess the color is Stardust or Borealis. This was a gift from my friend Lisa during the holiday season. You guys can see it's brand new. So I wanted to pull this out. Ooh, oh, that is pretty. Look at that. That'll be very, very pretty. Oh, couldn't have gone any darker today. And it's not even like 8 o'clock at night. This is Wanderlust by Stila. This was drying up on me, so I want to see if it's still. Nope, it's drying up. Uh, this one was my favorite. And it looks like it's officially going to die after this one. So I'm going to try to get one more use out of it. Look how pretty that was. This is the only one I would actually repurchase. It goes from like pink to green to gold. You guys can see it right there. This would probably be the only one I would repurchase, but it's drying up. So if it is officially dry, I'm not even going to try to revive it because I've already revived it a few times and I'm just over it. Here is Sea Siren. These I like to pull out during the summer months as well because I feel like they would work the best. You can see that shift. Ooh, that is pretty. And the other one is Sunset Cove, which is like the pinkier version of it. So we're going to pull this one out as well. I'm pretty sure all of my steelers will start to dry up by next year. So I might as well take advantage while I can. I also want to pull this out. This is my Tardis Pro Glitter Liner in Rose Gold. So it has a cream side right there, which I can use as a liner or as a base. And then it has the glitter end, which I also think it's very pretty. So they're both right there. How pretty that is. Let's share some pigments. This is the J Cat Goddess Pigment in the shade Hype Exposure. You guys know that these do not have a sifter, so I have to be very careful, as you guys can see. This is like a gold one. Oh my gosh, this is like seriously. So, yeah, I'll put that here. Wow. Look at that. This will look so pretty with a few things that I am currently painting. This is another pigment by The Bomb in Overshadow in the shade You Buy, I'll Fly. This is an old pigment, you guys. I mean, like, old pigment. But I like it. Look at that. 
see it right there. And it does have like a gold reflect to it in person. I don't know if you guys can see it on my finger, but it is pretty. The other one I want to pull out is Sydney Grace Comforting Light. This one is stunning. So I'm going to pull this out. Let me try not to get as much on my hand. Can you see it right there? Oh, yeah. It's very, very pretty. So I figured, why not pull this one out? All right, I'm replacing one of those Tarte Chrome paints with the shade Citrine. This is definitely one of my favorites for the summertime because it's like that burnt shade that I like to use. This is just a soft swatch of it, but it kind of reminds me of this one. This one's a lot more red based, but I really like it for this time of year. Something I haven't pulled out in a long time. This is Outer Limits by NARS. You guys remember this? Let's see if I can, there it is right there. Outer Limits. I did not realize since then they have come out with a heck of a lot more of these. So I am tempted to get a few more. This one shifts from gold to peach. It is beautiful. This one was sought out everywhere. I ended up getting it when they restocked it for the last time and then they made it permanent. It's probably hard to catch. You could catch it better here where you could see like it's gold and then peach. See that? Peach, gold, peach, gold. That's how this is. It's really, really pretty. Also something I haven't pulled out in a long time. These are MAC Press Pigments and this is in Day Gleam. This is a nice topper. It's like a sheer topper. It's right there. I don't know if you guys can see it. It is pretty when you wet it. These are best when you wet them. I'm pull that out. And then the other one that everyone used to like is Blonde Streak. I think this is limited edition. And I believe I got this one at a CCO maybe. See that? Uh, let's put this right here. Again, these are best wet. So you might not be able to really see its impact. But I figured I haven't pulled these out in a while. So I need to at least get some more use out of these. So here's what we got you guys so far for this month. I know I'm so sorry about the lighting you guys. I am doing my best, but mother nature, every time I film these videos never cooperates. All right, I've done the best that I could with the lighting that I have. I even turned on my bathroom light to help you guys out. All right, so I know I want a MAC blush this month. I think I'm gonna pull out MAC Sun Bask, which I really like to pull out in the summer. So there's that one. Here's another one I wanna pull out. This is NARS Liberté. Um, so here's this one. It's a little bit darker, but it's like that rustic, red burnt kind of shade. I really like this one and I figured I think it'll look really nice in summer. I want to pull out Becca Wild Honey. This is one of my favorites for the whole entire summer basically. It's so pretty. Yep, so I'm gonna pull that out. And the last one I want to pull out is uh, Chanel's Jersey. I haven't really used this one as much as I've wanted to. So I'm gonna pull this one out as well. For highlighters, this is the a highlighter I wanna pull out. This is Bodyographies Within something or other. From Within. So this one was a gift from my friend Lisa and I like to pull this out. Speaking of Becca Opal, in my, uh, one of the videos I made, I'm gonna pull out Champagne Pop because I haven't really pulled this one out in a while since I've been really enjoying Opal, I want to do Champagne Pop this month. Nabla Insomnia. I haven't really played around with this one as much, so I want to play with this one right there. Oh, this lighting is killing me. I don't know if you guys can see it right there. Last one that I want to pull out is Cookie by Benefits. This one's going to be in my face, but I still want it, so... Here are my four highlighters and the four blushes I want to pull out.
All right, you guys, so here are all of my glitter products over here that I have. Uh, the one outer limits that I currently put in here with the rest of these that I need to finish. That shouldn't be so bad. And I have all of these pigments and pressed pigments. Should be fun. My highlighters, all nice and neat in here. And my blushes. As far as palettes for this month, you guys know I use my pan those eyeshadows, but I can show you three palettes that I'm going to try to use a ton to test out this month. So you guys at least can check those out in the future. This is the Serenity palette by Annette. I believe I already did my three looks one palette with this one. So I'm going to continue to play around with this one. So I'm going to pull that out. The other one I want to pull out is this Nikki Tutorials one that, that I want to play around with. So you can guarantee that at the end of this month, this is the one that I'm going to have. In here normally I don't do this but I can guarantee you that these palettes are the ones that I am gonna play with this month so at least I might as well show you the other one I want to share with you guys is the equalizer 2 by sample beauty I only own one from sample beauty you guys know I like to try at least two palettes per brand to really see if the formula is uniform so I ended up getting this one as well with the Nika tutorials palette so this will be the other one that I will be using on top of anything else I pull out and my pan those eyeshadows all right you guys that's it thank you guys so much for watching and bearing with me yet again another month with horrible lighting hopefully going forward the days that i film these will not be rainy and yes i could have waited but guess what yesterday it rained tomorrow is gonna rain so it doesn't matter when i did it it's gonna rain <laughs> ah it just kills me every time all right you guys i'll check you guys out in the videos on the screen until then adios